had an absolute cracker day out fishing with my mate Murph and his son and my nephew, little Owen. He absolutely slayed the tailor today. We got to the spot just as the sun was starting to peak over the horizon. When I first waded out, I actually saw a shark and it sort of made a beeline towards me so I quickly ran up onto the sandbank. But I thought after seeing that I'd stay in the sort of ankle deep water for a little bit. I somehow managed to hook two fish and also lose two fish in one cast. It could have been a really painful day. Having said that, when you hook two fish with one cast, you know it's going to be a pretty hot bite. A few casts later and we were back in business. Nice little chopper to start the day. Murph was carrying out Owen across to the sandbank, so we pretty much had water on both sides of us here. You can see him, um, the whole school just got beached up on the water there. The tailor were chasing bait close up to the sandbank and also to the rocks to the left. Yeah, cup, watch out, mate. You're right on the edge. Let's grab the log. The young fellow walked backwards and fell off the bank, went for a bit of a dip early, didn't complain at all. There's that shark again. We worked out these dolphins were actually pushing a lot of the tailor and bait towards the rocks, which was helpful for us. Did you see that shark before? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Good boy. Good job, mate. Young O was onto his first fish. He cast out a Halco outcast and hooked one straight away. Keep going, mate. Oh, he's a good one, mate. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Young fellow was stoked with this awesome fish. Good job, mate. Olm was on again in no time. Yeah, keep winding, you let me know. The young fellow is already cleaning up the bass and the rivers. He's five turning six and he's already oh, catching right. his awesome tailor as well. His old man Murph is probably one of the best anglers I know. He's the one who introduced me to bass Come fishing in. and I leveled up my fishing game about Come ten times. Up, 
This one was caught on the uh, Armour Anchovy. This was probably the lure of the day. Open the bail arm for Danger, mate. Owen, open the bail. Head out some wine for him. There you are, Dang. Oh, he's a good tail, are we, John? Well done, mate. We got him in the eye, are we? Yeah. Solid one, mate. Yeah. Oh, you hooked, Dang. We were using um, Murph's snapper rods for the beach fishing, which is just a seven foot Veritas of, uh, I think it was four to eight kilos, and we're using Stratic 5000s. I think one reel had 20 pound and the other had 30 pound braid on it, but it was sun line, so it was real nice and thin, and it actually cast pretty well. Really versatile rods. You could use these to catch snapper off a boat, and these were fine to flick out lures. Also a pretty decent rod for Mulloway, I'm sure. I couldn't help myself, I had to use the old SSM slim bait. I was casting real close to these rocks here and hoping I'd get a, some good action on the surface. Painful. It was definitely a good oh, one. Yeah. That was a good one. Probably was, who knows. on the surface. Okay, dang it, we get it. It was on the surface. All the fish today were released. They're all decent size enough for a feed though. Here I'm just casting out just behind where the waves are breaking. Putting my line up high, out, I don't want to get your hook behind and then just really in slowly. I'm holding the rod up high in this instance because I don't want my braid to get caught on a couple of the rocks that I can see in front of me. Also, when a wave comes and crashes over the top of your braid, it can move the lure around when I'm trying to keep it on the surface.
He's a good one, mate. Watch the, watch the other hook, mate. Watch the other hook. There's two hooks on that one. Always got to be wary of that second treble. I've been caught a few times. the Halco Outcast and got another nice little one. Another great lure. With these, I'm just ripping in real quick. Good one, mate. They weigh about 50 grams, I think these ones were, so you can't let them sink too much around those rocks. Fine to let them just sink down when you're in the gutter, though, then you rip them up for the gutter. Okay, behind you. You're up. Oh, I'm on again. Just getting fish after fish. Good job, mate. Good little pump and wine technique. There we go, mate. Good job. Oh, there he goes. Good job, mate. On again. Unstoppable. After about his 10th nice or 11th one, fish, or how many it ever was, we thought we'd better pack it in. We left him biting. Awesome day. Great to see Owen get into some good fish too. For more Taylor and beach lure fishing videos, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.